No, I'm actually not singing a song. <clears throat> In just a couple of years, I'm going to be 50 years old. And that is one of the reasons why I'm holding this piece of paper, because I might easily forget some of the points that I want to say. <laughs> Isn't that a good reason, a good excuse for me to uh, do so? <laughs> but actually, I'm not here to talk about aging. I'm here to talk about an issue that keeps popping up in my life and a lot of people have asked me about it. Um, I noticed that many of you have not asked me about this, but I want to talk about it now. The question, the issue that I want to talk about is, do I have a relationship with anyone at all at this time? <laughs> you see, a lot of people are so interested in knowing about this. Um, how can I say this very nicely and simply? Um, I'm actually not in a relationship at the moment, okay? But that doesn't mean that I, that I have never had one before. In fact, I've had quite a few, but they did not work out quite well. And as a result, I've decided to end all those relationships and be very happy with what I am, with the way things are. And that's why when I was sitting at the back there and Swedish, I was asking who want to have children. <laughs> it was so hard for me to really raise my hand and say, I might be that person among all the people in the class who would say, I want to have children, I want to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Um, but I'm here today to talk about uh, the reasons why I feel so. If you already have a relationship with a very nice boyfriend, a very nice girlfriend, okay, you don't have to listen to me because you, uh, good people are very hard to find, by the way. If you already have someone who is very nice to you, who is very kind to you, by the way, take every chance to cherish that kind of love, to keep that person with you for as long as possible. Love is actually a blessing from God, and you should really do everything that you can to, uh, to, to, to be with that person for as long as possible. I might not be one of them, and if you are single like me, I don't want you to feel under any pressure to, uh, to really try to force yourself to have someone in your life just because every, everybody else says so. Um, there are a lot of single people out there who are very happy with what they are. There are a lot of single moms, single dads, single people who live a very happy life. In fact, I can even show you some of the Hollywood movie stars who are in and out of relationships all the time. And many of them, especially the ones that I'm about to show to you, are the ones who are very happy being very single right now. Okay. Even, even though they're very old, but unfortunately, I haven't got a chance to look at my note yet. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down here. The very first one, of course, is a movie star, a very famous one from Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie. She, of course, broke up with um, Brad Pitt. And believe it or not, both of them are actually still very single right now. Angelina Jolie has devoted her life to working, uh, to helping other people in the third world countries. And Brad Pitt has been going in and out of the, um, in a relationship with so many people too. And they seem to be very happy with what they are now. Okay. The next person, Tom Cruise, okay. he uh, broke up with Katie Holmes okay, quite a few years back. And uh, he has been through a lot of relationships as well. Okay. But right now, he's actually very happy being alone as well. Zach Lauha Bolawutikun. Of course not. <laughs> Um, Zach Efron, okay, I, um, he's actually a lot younger than me, by the way, and then um, he's also very happy being alone by himself. All of these people, okay, Leonardo DiCaprio, he broke up so many times, and right now I think he's actually having a good time, uh, enjoying his freedom of being single, okay, including uh, Keanu Reeves, and this person in, in particular, if you want to find out about uh, how many people he has been with in the past, you probably can't find any information at all because I tried so hard to search on the internet. And the only person that I found was actually his wife, 
He was dead a long time ago in a car accident, and ever since that time, he has stopped seeing anyone. Okay, uh, and he probably has his own reasons for doing so. Last but not least, we have Kylie Minogue. I'm not sure if you know her or not, but her signature song is actually "Can't Get You Out of My Head" uh, from Australia, and uh, she is actually not going with anyone either, even though she is actually um, uh, we are all pretty much the same age. Um, but um, this issue is actually not a big problem for me. A lot of my friends are very okay with my decision to remain single. I'm not closing myself, by the way. I'm not. I'm still open to opportunities because anything can actually happen. Maybe five years from now, if you see me outside, I might be walking with someone, which is possible. But the point I want to make here is. I don't have to really feel under pressure to force myself to have someone just because other people have someone. Just because, just because there is a Valentine's Day, and there are people who buy flowers to give to their partners, and I don't have one, I can give my flowers to my parents as well. I can give my flowers to all my friends here and teacher, and that is as important as giving flowers to the people that you love. Okay. I have reasons that I want to share with you why being single can can actually be very nice, very good. For example, there's actually no need to please anyone, especially for me. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person who likes pleasing and 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 trying to find out who that person likes or dislikes something. I'm very bad with numbers. You probably recall that I don't even remember my own ID number. Correct. I made so many mistakes all the time with, with account numbers and blah blah blah. Okay, and so can you imagine myself here trying to remember somebody's birthdays, somebody's anniversaries, and the day that we went on the first trip together? What happens when you don't remember all these details and you have someone special in your life? It's a disaster. <laughs> Almost right away. And that's what happens to me. I I feel right now that I don't have to be confined by the inability to remember anything. <laughs> and the second one, no need to worry about quarrels. I am very very sure. In Thai, we have a saying, "tongue and teeth, okay, always clash." Okay, and it's actually the same thing when in English too. Love sees no fault. That's what we say in English. Um, in fact, if you uh, go meet someone, chances are you probably run into small arguments over and over all the time. Even the fact that you are in bed snoring, it can be a problem for your partner too. Can you believe this? But why do we have to worry about such a thing when I have no one with me? I can be in my bedroom totally naked, and nobody gives a darn about it. <laughs> Correct. Uh, so uh, this is actually one fact that I can erase from my list of things to worry about. Uh, the third one is no need to be paranoid or jealous, especially if your partner is really good-looking. You have to be very careful. Technology nowadays allows people to cheat on their partner very easily. You can actually download an application form, sorry, an application on your mobile phone. And you can actually search for someone within a radius of two kilometers, looking for someone who wants to really have a little fun with you. Okay, and uh, with this kind of technology, it makes it very hard for us to really. Uh, we we need a lot of trust. In other words, the recent happening was actually with um, you probably have heard of this. Parkin and Manal, <clears throat> okay. The, the news about uh, the boy who was only about 19 or something years old, and then the woman was about 24. Okay, they met on Facebook, while as the boy already had a girlfriend. Okay, and by the way, this is actually not the only case. It's so common, people just don't talk about it. But look at me now. Do I have to worry about this? In fact, I'm even one of them. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> and so I don't have to be paranoid or jealous of anyone at all. Okay, because uh, of the joy of being single. The fourth one is actually to get to spend more time with your friends. I'm pretty pretty sure you all agree with me that once you are 
with someone, it's actually harder to go out and enjoy yourself with your friends the way it used to be, because you may have to report back every 30 minutes, <laughs> saying this is where I am. And in worst cases, <clears throat> um, your boyfriend or girlfriend might even want you to share your location to let me find out where you are at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, Unless you are in self-denial, you probably say that, no, 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 this is not true, but actually this is what is happening in reality. And last but uh, not yet, um, you can save a lot of money, and this is for sure. The fact that I'm alone now, I can go out on the street, buying some pork on skewers with sticky rice, whooping, <laughs> and eat them alone you know, without, having to, without having a can in the world. Nobody can actually say, you, can, you might even spot me walking on uh, near the mall bank later, um, eating something very greedily, and I don't have to care about my image. But if I have someone with me in my life, you probably want to do something very special. Um, actually, I did a lot of special things. I spent a lot of money on all of these, okay? And um, now that I am actually single, I feel that, gosh, I can't believe my bank account is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so it's actually one thing that we can do to uh, save a lot of money. Um, you can have, and this is actually the most important point for me, you can get to have more time for your passion and career. If I have, if I were to have someone with me right now, I probably would not be able to stand right here with you guys. I probably would not be able to follow my dreams and do my master's degree. It's something that I wanted to do a long time ago, but I could not do it because this is actually one of the reasons why I couldn't do it back then, okay? And now I can actually devote all my time and energies to uh, working for my passion, for completing my education, and for trying to make more money for myself, to establish myself, okay? And I have to take this opportunity to do it before I get to have someone, if ever, if that ever happens. So, um, just before I end my talk here, I want to say to you that um, you don't have to feel bad about not having someone in your life. You are always surrounded by people who love you. It's only that you have to open your eyes and see back home, you know, at, at your home, there are people who are like your parents, for example, your brothers and sisters who are sitting right there waiting for you to come home. You are surrounded by friends, by teachers who are very nice to you, okay? And isn't this fact not enough already? The ending of my talk is a quote of myself too in the picture. You can actually be alone, but you don't have to be lonely. Thank you very much.